of some pushing and shoving going on. They send it back in. Off hands out the back. Daisy Thomas! On the spot, it's Daisy and Carlton hit the front. Huge stoppage here. Out the back, Murphy kept it moving forward. Givens hacks it. Off hands, Casbolt. And he's wrestling, he's trying to take them all on. Fisher, clever, Murphy, the veteran, the sidestep, the banana, Mark Murphy, to try to win it for the Blues in the death. They swamp the veteran. The Blues who have suffered so much heartbreak over recent seasons. They've got a renewed spirit at the moment. And they cause a huge upset in the West. The Blues with a big victory by four points at Optus Stadium. Now they try and launch from half back. Jones run there. He's a good defender, Liam Jones. He's athletic, courageous in the air, and good sport. He can give it off to Burgoyne. Drives it long to Bruce. Oh, Jones, brilliant. Kept his eyes on the football and fisted it away cleanly. Well done, Liam Jones. Burn, Kernow, and Pickett. Pickett drifting in from the side. What a night he has had. One goal one is his best output in an AFL game. And now he's kicked two goals one. They're going to take some catching the Blues. Look at the Carlton fans, this has been a long time coming. They're out of the chairs here. 4,495 days the last time they beat Hawthorne in an AFL match. And on the night where they celebrate 30 years since the 1987 Premiership at Carlton, this is a big moment for the Bokers. Can they get a sealer? Out the back, Gibbs is going to run in. Oh, he dropped it. He's got time to pick it up. Gibbs kicks the goal and can't win. Big smile to Bryce Gibbs. Big smile to Carlton fans. They've done it against the Hawks. Deep in your forward me, line. You keep telling me about the role of these big boppers. Oh, Cripps cuts it off. Runs to 40. And big moment to Blues. They bounce back to start this second half. All right, Dow gets a second go at it. Top of the square, son. Go. Runs around. Looks up. Now he kicks it to the top of the square, and the mark is on. And that's because the two stars were in the right spot. Cripps going one way, Kerno the other, and the captain stands up and takes the mark. 11 points the difference to get as close as they've been since the first goal of the game. In comes Cripps and puts it right through the middle. Three in the row. That's six out of the last seven of the Blues. Martin does it beautifully down to Zorko, whose handball's just a little bit over the top of Allison's head. Silvani comes in. Cripps crashing through. Cripps lines him up. Cripps goes for goal. And Cripps delivers. Captain Fantastic, if you don't mind, at Marvel Stadium. Sensational stuff from the skipper. Great finish too. He's able to kick this through. I like the fact we allowed him to run 30 metres too. That was fantastic. What a finish. All class. And Walsh has it. Kicks it to the top of the square. Cripps! For goal number four since half time, the captain comes in and kicks and puts it through to revive the Carlton Football Club. It doesn't take much to completely change a club, does it? How appropriate is it that Patrick Cripps, the Superman, the leader, siren sounds, in runs Cripps, the talk. He has to live it all afternoon. It's not a goal, but it is a where will you win moment. Unforgettable win by the Blues. From 37 down to win by 15. 11, 12, 78 to 9, 9, 63 in David Teague's first game as an AFL coach.
coach is well aware of what a win tonight will mean. Judd over the football, trying to lift his team, trying to earn a free kick. Look at him go. Still inside the boundary, Chris Judd. Virtuoso performance. Oh, wonderful by Chris Judd. And then just was able just to... Uh, nothing quite opened up. Saw his teammate in front of goal. That's fantastic. Would have been a really good kick if it rolled out and they got a stoppage. Bev and that's oh. slack. And oh. Walker, this is a chance. White. Still with White. And they look home. Oh. Timely fist from Richards. Bird in desperate trouble. Ricochets off the boot of McLean. In goes Judd again. Feeds it back to Ella. Trying to get a boot to ball was Betts. Picked up by Walker. And there's the clincher. Walker gets his second. That is a knee buckler. To see Chris Judd on screen there, the 31 disposals. Down that bottom line there, contested possessions is 25. His career high going into this game was 23. Just highlighting the absolute dominance he's had on the game. Just look at that there. That's five on one. They've out swanned the Swans tonight. A famous victory for Ratton. play, Murphy, Kerno, Gibbs, time to steady, that's a big time goal from Bryce Gibbs. Everett was there, couldn't take a hand on it, and the court defence trying to stand firm, no holding the ball, and this could be a very heavy penalty indeed for Don't give it away. There was just no talk there, Dave, on. Everett steams down to the square. He's sprinting. Jones. Jones is the target, however. He's got front spot. He can't complete the mark. Carriage hand pass is OK. Cruiser, become a hero. Become a hero. And he has. Beautifully called, Sandy. What a place you play. Just the run and carry. But there's nine seconds left now, and that's going to make it hard. Very, very hard. The last time they did win four in a row, round 18 to 21, way back in 2011. Wines with a big smack, but it's going to be all too late. Boat tries desperately as the clock ticks down. Boat's lost his pants, but he still goes after the footy. There's the siren. Carlton have won four in a row. the stats go with the comebacks and things like that but to win for Simo's 250th um, I think the footy gods must have been watching because he deserved that. Uh, yeah it does mate, um, can't thank the boys enough for digging in deep, um, man down early, I think there's a few boys playing really sore out there but just um, just found a way and yeah can't thank them enough. Wants to get it moving quickly, Judd's his target, now he's two minds, decides to go by hand to Robinson who just throws it on the boot to the full forward area. Judd, oh, brilliantly done to Betts. Great stuff by Judd. Smart, clever, skillful. And Eddie's got a Joe the Goose, he's got two. Red lights, flashing danger for Essendon. And more danger here. Judd's going to run into an open goal. And the Blues suddenly lead by 27 points. Is Eddie not going to have a shot at goal? Oh, Willie weaves in and out. Bance has kicked it. He's got five. He's very unselfish. Looks there. No. Fumble. Looks there. In the end, I better do it myself. You saw it. Mark Murphy, Chris Judd set the scene. And look, another centre clearance. The lead's blown out to 39 points. And they're into attack again. Murphy's had a fantastic third term. Takes on McVay. Runs to 45. It is raining Carlton goals. Here's Carlton. Just hasn't really been able to do it tonight. Armfield with acceleration of which he has plenty and he kicks another scotland and walker maybe too far out here here's a lovely shot for goal 
And he puts that in harm's way. Eddie again. But never kicked more than five prior to this. Seven straight. Eight straight to Eddie. This is his night. Bombers just can't get through. And the ricochet is with Robinson. And where's Eddie? Walker's got the sit here. Oh! Everyone's up with that one. Unbelievable. Oh, it's just that has to be the best for the year, doesn't it, Tim? The crowd is stunned. I reckon Essendon supporters are cheering this. Oh, that's the best for the year by a mile. That was very, very high into the black sky. Now, can he finish it? He, like Betts, has a perfect record. Tough shot. Glorious kick. Four straight. They've got to clear it away. So Hampson hard. Robinson, third man up. And Carazzo, who's having a big year. It just got bigger. And fingertips to it, follows up, Carranza once more out of the middle, eight possessions now for him, his career high, his 100th game, 44, but all eyes on Betts who makes amends, he's got three. Awkward kick by Swan, set to the task, Carlton have got numbers here, Robinson with a quick kick forward, oh. Garlett waiting, waiting, Jamison did the job, and then Murphy built it home, and Carlton take a big lead. Takes you to funny places, as we saw Gavin oh. Brown and Mario, Garlett roved it beautifully, the ball sits up, they're not going to get him, Clark won't run him down, Garlett still going, and that hurts, that is brilliant. Judd puts the burners on for a moment. Not a great kick, floating forward. Keith and wait, wait. Just a little bit too pretty there. And then O'Brien oh. and Betts takes it off him. And for the first time in his career, he gets five against the Pies. About 60 metres from goal. Back to Henderson. Collingwood with numbers. Henderson clever again. And then a lovely looking kick to the top of the square. Cruiser front spot, Murphy's going to get another one. Well played, Carlton. Missing that mark on replay, here's Judd, who snaps and kicks a goal. So a throw in with under two minutes to go. Swan couldn't quite, gee, Hampson did well there. Pirouettes out and kicks a goal. <laughs> Tommy's living up to your big yeah. rap as the most improved, he's got two. Needs to hit him, he gets away from Renoff. Made it tough for him, has the flying shot at goal, rolls across the face, sets up okay for Betts, corralled, steps back, Did well. O'Shea didn't take it out, still a chance Eddie, yeah. that is amazing, Eddie's back. Gibbs, Yaron, takes on Honk, wins with ease, Perfect. centering kick, Eddie Betts stands under it, Murphy at the back, he lost both of them, needs to nail of the captain, and does, keeps them alive. Energetic start by the Blues, and Murphy, open it up. That's what he has ahead of him. And that could be the fire starter. Mark, but he pounces, landed like a cat and goes to the top of the 50. That's a guy. Yep. Splendid grab. Gibbs runs for him, he ignores Gibbs, goes wider. Yaron, this is his moment. Takes them on and drives it home. It looked to be a good kick, but he didn't hold the mark. The vantage play, the Blues on the march. White gives it up to Murphy. He's got Ben short. He goes himself. Says, leave it to me. We're still a final chance. That's the problem. If you don't hit that target with a pinpoint pass, it comes back with interest. Corns, good bump, dying. Took him down, took him down fair. Bell bangs it to full forward. It's long. It's there. For the first time today, Calvin in front. She's a bit the ball out this quarter, the Blues. Taps it down. Where was this in the first half? O'Shea run down by White. Umpires have put the
the whistle away. Look at this. Bryce Gibbs back home. He played Little League here as a kid. Last ever game here. And he makes a statement. <laughs> Just a free kick. The only thing that can stop them. In your dreams, Carlton fans. From 29 points down and into the finals. You can only dream of wins like this. Away from home, against the odds. And the last ever AFL game at Amy Stadium has been breathtaking. Bulldogs in front, like his game. Well hard. Drives it long. Walker goes back. Robinson is on. Deeper still is Garlett. Garland is about 15 metres in front of Hardingham, not required. Robinson goes in and kicks the goal. <laughs> Makes life hard, doesn't it? That's right. Robinson, little kick forward, Gibbs waits for it and gets a hook on it, gets a good hook on it and kicks the goal. <laughs> Bombers have got numbers, but O'Hellen did really well there on Hill. And then quickly up, and the Blues are on here. Bence, Simpson can use the Shepherd. Bence decides to kick the ball towards Walker and Thornton. It's running and running, it's a goal. It's Carlton's day. Good in theory. Bence, Murphy. Carazzo, Murphy. Gibbs. Oh, that stiff there. Thought it was a mark. And or the arms were chopped. Could have gone either way. In fact, it was all Carlton regardless. Murphy gets through and kicks the goal. How is that for hard work? Good idea. Thornton's long ball in. Well, nobody went for it again. Oh. Them, and now Betts gets on the end. Oh, it's like a big birthday party, isn't it? Myers to himself, and then he drives it outside the defensive 50. Hocking coming back with the fly, but Murphy threads it beautifully. Gets it to Johnny, turns around and kicks the goal. Judd makes a contest. Slips it away to Garland. Goes to Gibbs, who turns round and kicks him out. Oh, this is humiliating now for a proud football club. Well, that's exactly what they might be thinking about any time. You're right there, Bruce. No! Oh! Oh! <laughs> he's done a lot of things on this ground. I'm not sure if he's ever been that hard. What a mark. Kicks to four forward. Bets, yeah! the best party the Blues have ever been. <laughs> Have a good look at it here. Hocking probably didn't think that he was going to go, no, so no, he no. stayed down for the front square, but Juddy said, I'll have a crack at Someone told him he was a ground level player. Yeah, that's what he yeah. said. <laughs> and then the, oh, you see the, the facial expression there, and he fucking says it all. Just watch him here. Just float it up. Betts has kicked two. Betts has kicked three. And the small forwards and their captain are having the best afternoon. He is in Lovelace having a crack at it today. I think that's a step too far. Lee Juddy is feeling it at the moment. Up very high, gets a hand pass to Walker. How slick was that across to Gibbs? Gibbs kicks a wonderful goal. You won't see better than that. Just say there's no discomfort. She Walker's quick. Running bounce to the left, uses Carazzo, 48 metres out, and just another beautiful team goal for the Blues. They've kicked a few of them today. No coincidence, Judd has lifted, there he is again, out of the middle. He's up to 15 now, on one leg, kicks inside the forward 50, Grimes, Dagan, into the path of Garlick, Garlick lines up, but he's kicked another one, they go back to back. Diving in there and doing well in a tight situation was Tuck, no way through for Cochin, well done by Gibbs, stripped him of the ball, Judd knew where to stand, he kicks it inside the forward 50, Dagan! Remember that final Rams at Stadium? on the way, and I tell you what, there's a revival, a revival leading at the MCG. This will stretch him, he's done well Judd, but so's the man on him, he's taken him on, good contest, getting involved with Yaron, Grimes and Yaron, now Walker, 
looks up, cut off by McGuinness, I think it was for Cruiser. McGuinness down, Pearl's been a little slow with ball in hand. It's a long kick, Betts is lurking, Mark taken by Wright. He's becoming central to Carlton's comeback. And then Wright, long, long to Gibbs. Oh, look, yes, Mark, advantage, goal, Scotland. They're coming all right, it's official, they're backing up. They're on a roll now, they're feeling pretty good about themselves. Some doubt creeping into the young Richmond players in their first final. Seven points the difference, Murphy taken down by Vickery. Kuno, brilliant. One way traffic now, Simpson. Leads it forward, Armfield finds himself in space. Sends it long down towards Paul Ballard. Bets! Oh, Richard with a free kick. With a free kick against Paulus. That could make an even bigger difference. Bets runs around.